for Thursday. We are looking ahead to tomorrow morning. There will be a special memorial in the triad set up. That's all to honor our veterans. It's called the moving wall. It's mm -hmm. currently being set up at the VFW post in Kernersville. That's right. And here to share just a little bit more this morning is Josh Hunt. He is the post commander for the VFW 5232 there in Kernersville. Thank you so much for being with us this morning, Josh. Uh, yeah, no problem. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. I have to first start off with asking you a couple of questions about what the moving wall is and why it's so important to the community and veterans all around. Uh, the moving wall is a uh, half sized replica of the Vietnam Memorial Wall in Washington, D.C. Um, it looks exactly like it. The panels are made identical. The names are spelled identical and it's in the exact order. Um, and I have two Vietnam veterans sitting here with me. You can't see them on the camera, but Steve Amos and Dennis O'Brien. And they're the reason why it's so important because, you know, they they were drafted, served their country honorably, uh, made all the sacrifices necessary and came home and and made life in them, made life in this country and supported families here. And they passed that work ethic and that tradition and that mindset down to us later generation of veterans. And that's why it's important to remember them and honor them. And that's what the moving wall represents. Josh, first of all, thank you for your service. So we also understand that there is a museum there that people can take a look at. Yes, absolutely. The museum is open from 8 to 8 every day until Monday. Um, and it's artifacts from the Vietnam era in there. There's um, there's some uniforms in there that the soldiers actually wore, the Marines wore. Um, there's a flight suit in there from uh, this awesome gentleman sitting to my right over here. He doesn't fit in it anymore, but it's still his flight suit, I can promise you that. <laughs> um, but it's all types of memorabilia in there that just represents what they saw in Vietnam, what they went through. And it kind of tells a story and it gives them a chance to explain to some folks that are not educated on what it actually took to be there and what it meant to be there. It gives them a first hand view and a first hand experience by people who lived it. Wow. And Josh, tell us about some fundraisers that we want to be sure to highlight going on mm -hmm. this weekend. This is all to support the veterans in our area. Isn't that right? Yes, ma'am. The, the, the moving wall this weekend is not technically a fundraiser, but it, but it is a chance to highlight the veterans in the community. It is a chance to get the post out there into the community. And our goal here is to bring folks in. And as they come into our post, if they're a veteran that feels like they're alone, they'll come in and get this sense of brotherhood that we share here, this sense of family. And we may be able to impact their lives and turn their lives around and give them somewhere to call home. And that's our goal. And um, this is just one way for us to reach a mass audience and reach a bigger audience than our normal fundraising activity, and that's what our goal is. Absolutely, and Josh, we know that there is not everyone who's going to be visiting this weekend is a veteran in any sort of way, but we also know that folks just from the normal community are gonna to wanna to come out and visit the wall. Can you sort of explain what you hope that they take away from this experience? My, my biggest hope that they take away is that the sacrifices that veterans make when they sign their name on a contract, they, is you just you write a blank check and that's i've heard that term used and i and i like to repeat it you sign a blank check and you also meet and become brothers with folks from all walks of life all political affiliations all religious backgrounds and none of that matters what matters is your sense of service your sense of pride in your country and you become brothers and you become family and then their family becomes your family and i hope that when folks come visit the wall this weekend and they talk to a bunch of the veterans around the post what they take away from it is a sense of being proud to be an american first and we work out everything else second because that's exactly how we operate in this post and that's how we look at the world at large and i think that that would be the greatest takeaway is people to just understand it's okay to be different as long as you have pride in yourself and pride in your country and that's what matters yeah josh you currently are at the site of the moving wall is that right do you want to show us a little bit yeah. I can show you, um, I, you have to give me a second to walk up there. Yes, ma'am, I'm here. Well, we did have some video. I just thought you could maybe pan <laughs> and show us. Or at least- you know, I, I, We're actually putting the wall up right now, so there's some noise over there. So I kind of got away from the noise. <laughs> gotcha. to, That's to okay. Talk. And we want to recognize your fellow veterans there behind you too, your brothers. Please thank them on our behalf too, as well for their service. Josh, we certainly appreciate you speaking with us this morning as well. Thank you so very much. And for everyone at home, remember the moving wall is currently on display in Kernersville starting tomorrow. As you heard him, they are setting up as we speak. The address there is on your screen. Edgewood Street is where you need to go. It will be set up 24 hours a day until May 1st. 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. is when the museum will be open. So certainly something to take part in.